to match up for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, you hear the pop from the crowd, DC, as Nate Diaz gets set to make this walk here tonight. You never know when is going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when we see Nate Diaz in there. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music. Everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jiu-jitsu practitioner. Yeah. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. So you think he throws it tonight? It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. All right, we'll see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight, but Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is six years his senior. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz. And now, Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mecca, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of is Makachev! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Oh, 
we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Watching this guy move on the ground, another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the Godfather would be proud. Got the single collar tie. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, nice strike landed there by Diaz. Right hand upstairs. Barely missed on the upper shot right here on the inside. Look at him dig that body shot right up to his opponent's sternum. Oh, nice. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. 